At Thaddeus Stevens, we use SimNet in both CIS 111 and 211. You can work at your own pace, go back and review the material as needed, and see instant results and feedback. Using a computer is best, but most homework can be done on a phone or tablet if needed. The exception is the project homework that requires a PC with Microsoft Office installed. This is because Mac computers can't run Microsoft Access software. Also, the Office Online software is not compatible. It has to be the installed version of Microsoft Office. To register for SimNet, use the link provided in your Canvas course in the Getting Started module. At this screen, click where it says register now for new users. Here you'll enter your name for your SimNet account and make sure you're using your Thaddeus Stevens email. Otherwise, you won't be able to link your grades between our school Canvas system and SimNet. At the next step for registration, all students should click where it says Courtesy Access, go to the Courses tab. This will set you up for two weeks of free SimNet access. At this step from the Courses tab, click where it says Add a Course, and then search for your section. It may be CIS 111 Section C or CIS 211 section B. You'll find this information on the first page of your syllabus and you'll also find it listed in your Canvas course. Enroll in the proper section and then you can click where it says to activate your free 14-day access. Your SimNet homepage may look something like this or you see the major categories that are covered in the course but you're not going to be launching the assignments from this page. Instead, you'll launch them directly from Canvas. A few links to be familiar with are the library link, where you have access to the entire ebook, the grades link, where you can see your SimNet grades, and your student profile, which is your name in the upper right corner. That's where you'll go if you need to edit your email, your password, and eventually to put in the code or purchase the full version of SimNet. If you've clicked around and need to return to the main screen in SimNet, click the tiny home button, or you can click the SimNet logo in the upper left corner. Remember to only start assignments by opening them from Canvas. This way, when you complete the assignment, your grades will link back from SimNet and also display in Canvas. Your assignments in SimNet are lessons, projects, and simulation exam homework. The asynchronous classes have additional work to complete. Let's take a look at the lesson homework. When you launch it from Canvas, you'll get to a screen that looks like this, where you can choose which topic you want to try from the list on the left, or up at the top, click where it says take lesson. You can skip around, you can always come back and review these items later, and you'll see on the right hand side, once you've completed the task, it shows a check mark. Assume we launched a lesson task to complete formulas in Excel. Read through the information that's shown here, which is a page out of the ebook, and then to earn your point, you must complete the green Let Me Try, which is going to guide you through a task. The Show Me button is optional. That's a video that you can watch if you need to see how the step is done. The Guide Me is also another optional item that takes you through one step at a time. But to earn your point, it's just the let me try that you need to complete. 
This shows where the Let Me Try task is presented at the top of the screen. Read very carefully and make sure that you follow the same typing of uppercase and lowercase as is presented. On the right hand side, if you get stuck, you can still click the optional Show Me or Guide Me buttons. After completing the task correctly, you're brought back to the page in the ebook and you see the check mark to let you know that you've completed it and earned your point. You can then move on to the next lesson task. The simulation exam homework isn't really an exam. It's actually very much like the lesson homework where you're presented with a task to complete, but it doesn't have the optional show me or guide me hints available for you to use. You can try out each task up to three times. Use the buttons on the right to navigate back and forth to the next or previous task if you need to skip around. And overall, you only have one attempt at the simulation homework per chapter. So make sure you have a strong internet connection and you don't accidentally open the simulation before you're ready to complete it. Finally, the project assignments are worth the most points per chapter. These are not simulations, meaning you need to be using a computer that has Microsoft Office installed, not Google Docs, Google Sheets, not the online version of Microsoft Office. From the project page, you'll download the start file and sometimes additional files. You'll complete the steps or instructions that are listed. You don't need to check them off, but you can to better keep track. I suggest you print out the project page so you can easily see the instructions. And then when you're done completing the steps, you'll upload your finished file back to SimNet and then submit it for grading and you'll instantly see your results. After submitting your project file, you'll see a sample image of what the file should look like on the right. And then on the left, you'll see very detailed feedback. It lists every step with arrows that are red if something was incorrect, blue if it was partial, or green if a step was done correctly. Now this is important, expand those arrows and you'll see the feedback that tells you exactly what needs to be done. It might say your line spacing was 1.5 and it needed to be 1.2. You can go back, make those corrections, and then resubmit your project. You can submit it up to five times and it'll count your highest score. Sometimes students say they received a zero as their project score. If this happens, more than likely you uploaded the original file back to SimNet for grading rather than your file, the recent file that has your changes in it. So always check the date and the time before you submit files to SimNet. Or it could be that in the feedback, it mentions that the sheet name was misspelled or a table name was misspelled and SimNet can't find the information. And you'll see this when you review the feedback. Don't forget to check the optional library link at the top of SimNet where you can access the entire ebook and you always have access even after the course ends to the various SimNet lessons. Periodically check the grades link in SimNet to see how many points you've earned for each assignment and make sure that those points are being transferred back to Canvas. This should happen automatically as long as you're always launching the assignments from Canvas. If you happen to forget to do that, Canvas will update the next time you launch another assignment through Canvas. Before your free two-week SimNet trial expires, you'll need to get set up with the full version.
to do that, the next time you're in SimNet, click on your name, which is your profile in the upper right hand corner of SimNet, and then follow the instructions on this next slide. If you are not on the Stevens College grant, you'll need to purchase the SimNet software. This can be done through the bookstore or right here from within SimNet from the publisher. You'll click on the button on the left where it says buy online and then enter in your credit card information. If you are a Stevens College grant student, then in the middle of the screen, you can enter in the code that you received from the school. This code should have been picked up in the first few days of the semester, or if you haven't done that already, you'll probably need to check your emails or go to the Mellor business office to pick up your code and then type it in here on this screen. If there's a small glitch in SimNet where even after you've purchased your SimNet code or you've entered it as was described in the last slide, it will still show this countdown when you're at the main SimNet page where it's counting down that free 14 day trial. You can ignore that as long as you have either purchased or entered the code, that countdown will not affect anything once the time limit and the 14 days are up. A couple other items. Before you really start working on the SimNet assignments, run that system requirement check on your home computer. You'll see an example of this coming up in a moment. It'll ensure your computer is set up properly to run SimNet. Also, there's a link on the SimNet main page and at the bottom of most pages for technical support. This information was also described in the Getting Started module within our Canvas course. Here's where the system requirement check was completed, and it shows that this computer is set up properly to run SimNet. If any changes were needed, it would let you know just what steps to take. It's rare to run into issues with SimNet. Most problems happen because a task wasn't read carefully or the wrong version of Microsoft Office was being used. But if you do run into any technical issues, I recommend calling their tech support for the fastest results. And this information is also listed in our Canvas course in the Getting Started module.